I'm good. <laughs> tell us tell us why we're all here today. Well, we are all here today because um, we are going to talk a little bit about The Wiz and uh, Miss Mary Louise Lee, um, who is our first lady, is going to be here to give an interview and to let you all know her feelings and her thoughts about the show um, that she is going to be in playing Glinda. So we're very excited to have her. Well, you know, I started off, I was a senior at Thomas Jefferson High School. Um, and. Uh, music teacher, she was a substitute teacher, she had called me um, at the school and said, you need to come audition for an understudy for the show that I'm doing. It was Beehive the 60s musical at Stage West in the Denver Center with Rick Sieber. And um, uh, I went to the audition, I didn't, I mean, you know, I had just gotten cast into Peter Pan and TJ, yeah. so I said, like 17? I was 17. And uh, I said, okay, well I just turned 18. And I said, wow, okay, I'll, I'll come on down. And uh, he gave me the part that same night. I understudied three roles. Right. Cheryl Renee, um, Katie Love, her mother, and uh, Shavash and T at the time. Yeah. And uh, then I was on my way off to Langston University in the fall, and Rick calls me <laughs> and says, we're going on the 16th state national tour. And uh, I talked to my family and they said, hey, this opportunity may not come again, do yeah. that come back from school. So I came back after the 16th State National Tour, yeah. came back, went to Metro State, and uh, still did Beehive at the Denver Center. Yeah. And uh, then Beehive went, in, while I was going to school, Beehive went into other shows, like Up on the Roof, um, just several shows after that, and uh, with Rick. Tell us a little bit about how this all came to be. Interesting. Um, she actually came in for an audition, and we didn't know who she was, because she doesn't use Hancock as a last name. Uh -huh. And then, so uh, after she did her audition, it was a great audition, and uh, Bernie asked her about her conflicts, and she said she wasn't really sure because um, she didn't know her husband's schedule um, and what was going to happen. And we asked her what her husband did, and she said, well, he's running for mayor. And we were like, oh, that old line. Right, oh, that. <laughs> and so we, like, we kind of, like, looked at her information again, and we're like, okay. And so, you know, she says she, she didn't really have any answers for us, um, you know, but she would keep us informed. And so... Um, the next day we were um, calling everybody for callbacks and it just so happened that when we called her and asked her, you know, if she was still interested in the show, would she be willing to come for a callback? She said yes. And then that night we found out that he got elected yeah. for mayor. So it was like, oh, OK, well, do you still want to do the show? Because we would love to have you. We actually had already cast her if she wanted the role. Right. And it took her about a week to get back to us. And then she called back and she said, absolutely. I've worked with youth and children for over 15 years. And I've always, I've always connected the song, um, If You Believe, to everything that, I mean, when I'm teaching them, facilitating, doing whatever, I've always connected that song. Because the words are just so real. Right. You know, believe in yourself, and it helps them with their self-esteem. My kids, I keep them in the arts, and always have, ever since they were little babies, and taken them to musicals, and they've seen every show that I've been in, except Lady Day, because that was, yeah, there was a lot of profanity in there, and they were a little young, so not that one, but they've seen every show um, besides that, and um, The Wiz is just one of those shows that they really connected to, and they're like, Mom, you, you're going to be Glenda? What? That, that was Lena Horn, wasn't it? You know, so they kind of connect that um, to it as well. What a phenomenal lady she was. she brings to this role not just theatrically but as a, a sort of ambassador for for theater now that she has this new role where people will be paying attention to her every move well I know that the one thing that she did want to support and contribute to is the arts and so with this being her first venture at that um, it means everything not only to the theater community but to afterthought 
um, given that we're in this new space and we're trying to convince people to come back and we're fairly new to the theater community. Yeah. And so it, it pretty much gives us an extra boost. Uh, it puts her kind of back in her element because she's always been in the performing arts and she's been a singer and an actress for a long time. So it brings her back to her roots. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's on a whole nother platform. So, you know, we're just excited to have her. I believe totally in local artists because there's so many of us here that don't get an opportunity to really show their talent the way that you know, I know that they can. And performing arts and visual arts, anything with the arts, just needs to get out there. It's just a, a form of creativity that I truly love and um, that is so, like I said, that is so much a part of me. And that's what I want to kind of get out to other people that, um, you know, this, this is what kept me grounded when I was younger. Yeah kept me balanced and um, it's just a big piece of me.